Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to make great looking channel art using Google Drive and more specifically Google Slides inside Google Drive. So I want to show you how to make channel art for your YouTube channel in some very easy steps. Let's get started. So if you're logged into your YouTube channel here, you can see up at the top right hand corner under your icon, if I click it, this is where I can upload my new channel art to. Uh, you can see that here's some previous ones that I've uploaded to my channel here that I could replace my current one or I could use the gallery. So we wanna create a new one to upload to here. And I'm gonna go over to my Google Drive. I have that tab open. I'm just in a demo account here. Uh, and if you've watched my other video on making thumbnails with Google Drive, uh, that's where this is coming from. And I'll put that link if you haven't, I'll put that link to how to do your custom thumbnails uh, with the dimensions and everything uh, right uh, down below or in the cards above. So I have a folder that I've created already. I'm gonna go into, uh, into it. You can see channel art here. So I'm gonna go in it. I'm gonna create a Google Slides in here just by right clicking. I'm gonna go to uh, open a new blank presentation here. So I have to, first of all, get the correct size of my channel art. So I'm just gonna go back to here and you can see the correct size if I click on this notice here it says uh, recommend a channel art size 2560 by 1440 and that's in pixels so we got to remember those numbers 2560 by 1440 if I go over to here I'm going to pick those if I go to file and I go to page setup and I'm going to go here and I'm going to drop down to custom and pixels and now this is where I'm going to write 2560 by 1440 and now I'm gonna have the correct size what they recommend. I'm just gonna close my themes. I don't need my themes open on this one. And I'm also just gonna make this blank. I'm gonna click on the uh, edges of it and hit delete on my keyboard. So just click on the edges and there I have a blank, uh, blank slide and I have it to the correct dimensions. Now the one thing about channel art you gotta know is there's a certain spot that you need to place your items to make sure it shows correctly on your computer or mobile because whether a person's viewing it on TV, uh, there's some differences on what gets shown for your channel art. So I'm gonna show you a link off YouTube support. It's uh, right here and I'll put the link down below in my description too. So this is a template to help you uh, have everything in the correct spot and I have and you can see that there's a download right here uh, that you can go to channel art templates and it will download a zip file give you a PSD or a PNG file I'm going to be using the PNG file here so the first thing I'm going to do now is upload that image that I just downloaded from that YouTube support so just go over to insert and you can see image and I'm going to upload from computer I just downloaded this into a folder and you can see here's the PNG file, the channel art. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm just gonna uh, just have it stretched to here. And so this is gonna be my area that I have to work with. So even though it's the whole image, the text, this is text and logo safe area through here. So this is important that if you want, to, if you're writing something or there's certain images or your logo that you wanna show up, make sure you put it in here because you can see there's desktop max mode, tablet or desktop minimum and mobile. So it depends on uh, what device you're, you're thinking about, but this is the area that you want things to uh, be safe in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on this image and I wanna make it more transparent and see through and I'll show you why I wanna do that. So I'm gonna go to format option and you can see under adjustments here and I'm just gonna click down on here and I'm gonna bring the transparency so I can see through this a little bit more. Now let's uh, start with changing the background image of this whole, uh, of, this, of this channel art here. So I'm just gonna click on background and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna choose an image. I could choose a color if I want. I'm just gonna choose an image. Uh, I could upload if I had certain images, if I had something in my Google Drive, I'm just gonna search for something here and I'm gonna, just gonna search for the beach. And I'm just gonna pick, uh, I'm just gonna pick this picture right here and hit select and hit done. And now I have this image in the background. So I made this transparent. Uh, when I'm all done, I could turn this so, so it's completely transparent or maybe just even delete this when I save this. But the reason why I do this, now you can see the background, but you have to, anything extra you put, like your logo and different things, you want it within here. So if I go here, I could write something. If I'm, let's insert a text box here. So I'll, I'm just gonna write an example. So I want it within here. I'll write channel art. 
and I can make this larger too. Uh, here's my different types of fonts. So I'll make this much larger, even much larger than this. And I'll make this box larger. And then I'm going to pick, we'll just pick impact. And you can change colors and everything on this too. So if you wanted to write anything, you can just go ahead and move it around, but move it around inside here. You can insert more pictures if you want to. So if I search the web again, it will come up over here. I better make it something, maybe a computer since I'm kind of a tech channel. And I'll just put this one in here and I'll just drag it over. And you can see it's quite large, but I can uh, shrink this down it's too big still, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit more. That would kind of fit in here. So, and even if I wanted to change the shape of this, what I can do is if I go up near the crop, so I could crop it down, but if I pick one of these image masks, so maybe I want it into a certain, maybe I want it in a circle or an oval. You can see how it changed the image on this one. And then I can actually add uh, effects on this too. I'll just close this down. So under format options, you can see if I wanted to add a drop shadow to this if i maybe put a distance so you can see or maybe the reflection would be probably too big as it goes outside the zone here so i may not want that the other thing is if i had my logo so if i just quickly go over to here i can just right click uh, from here i'm gonna let's say i'll click on this one and I'll right click on this and I'm going to go copy image. I could save and upload, but this makes it easy just to paste it over here. And now I have this and I'm making sure everything fits inside here. So I get everything kind of around in the right place in the channel art that I want. Uh, you can put shapes in if you want. So you have different shapes. If you, uh, you can see right through here, there's lots of different shapes and you can color them. I'll just give you a quick example here. I'll just use the circle. I could draw a shape in and I can add the effects to them like I did before, the format options, or I could quickly change uh, this to different colors. So you can put all these different things onto it. I use this very similar to something like Canva, but just make sure you're in those proportions. So when you're done, what you can do, I'm going to click on the outside here. I could just delete this, or maybe I want to change the transparency all the way so you don't even see it uh, on this one. If you want to come back to it, then what I can do is all I have to do is download and you can see I can download, let's say I'll just download as a JPEG in this case, and then I download it and it's going to download this item to here. I'll just open it up and you can see it's ready to be put in and this is going to be in the right spot. So I would take this image after I'll just close uh, this down. I, I could take this image. If I just go over to my uh, Google Drive here, you can see it's all in here too. So it's being saved. I could title this something different uh, rather than untitled. So I just can call it ch channel art. Maybe I give it a year and then you can see it's all updated, easy to find and kind of have a template for your channel art. And then all you need to do is go back when you click this and then you're just going to, since I have it downloaded on my computer, I would select it and upload it here too. So I hope you kind of like this walkthrough of creating channel art with, uh, with your Google Drive and Google Slides. It's an easy way. It's a free way. So if you have liked it or maybe know someone else and let them know about it. Remember, I did uh, do another video just showing you kind of the dimensions of uh, making great looking, uh, making great looking thumbnails using the same method. So I hope you liked it this week. If you have, hit that like. Remember, I do weekly tech tips. Hit that subscribe button if it's something that you uh, think might be handy. Thanks for watching this week and I'll see you next time.